everyone, Gary here. Happy New Year's. Why am I wearing this mask while I'm in my car? Hi everyone, Happy New Year's. It's Gary with the Wax Nostalgic Network. I am about to go into Target for my first toy hunt of 2022. Now, I'm probably not going to be talking as much in this one because uh, for those who have been paying attention for a while, you might be able to tell that I'm getting over a cold. Uh, so that plus the fact that things are never really available uh, and out on the the floor on the first week of the year uh, prompted me to push this into the uh, second week. Uh, so I'm going to head into Target now and see what I can find. I'm looking for a few things. Uh, number one is just to see what's new, see all the resets and everything that they've done for the new year. Also, I'm looking for the McFarlane Batman 66 Riddler. I might be able to find him, hopefully. Uh, and last but not least, I am looking for a Sonic the Hedgehog Funko Pop of Knuckles, which is a Target Con 2022 exclusive. Pictures were just unveiled today, and they're starting to go up on eBay. So that tells me that they're somewhere. So fingers crossed I can find one and not have to pay secondhand prices. Uh, but I doubt I'm going to find one today. We'll just have to see what happens. But anyways, here we go into Target. Nice. There it is. Nice. They actually had three of them. these weird repaints in. Oh, they've actually got all of them. Nice. Love that Chili Dog Sonic. Every time I see it, it makes me happy. This thing is so cool. But it's a little pricey.
like Betty Spaghetti's back. Have you heard about Betty? You know, Betty Spaghetti. So that was a decent uh, find. I wasn't able to find the knuckles pop, but I was able to find everything else that I was looking for at the moment. And although I feel like the end caps weren't set up yet at this particular store, you know, I get the gist of the aisles at least. There are still some things that I definitely didn't see out there. Uh, but I guess I'm gonna go to another store in the morning. So this will be sort of a combined trip video. So stay tuned for more and I will recap it all at the end of it. Spin Master. It looks not terrible. Uh, let's see what else they got. Oh, here's a remote control version of it. Uh, there are the 12 inch figures you get uh, Penguin, Batman, Selena, and Unmasked Batman, uh, as well as the motorcycle. Those are in the 12 inch Spin Masters line. And then, let's see, you got Blight here again. Uh, like a new Joker. I can't keep up with all the McFarland stuff. Oh, and here's the, these are the new smaller scale ones. So you got Wingsuit Batman, you got regular Batman, you got Selina, and the Penguin. So they've actually got all four of these. Um, I think I'll get the Penguin just because it's the first time he's been done in the Spin Master line. Uh, and the packaging's pretty nice on these, I gotta say. Uh, and then there's individual 12 inch figures. Uh, so it looks like you get Batman and Selena in those. So that's cool, something brand new. Just a side note, something very strange going on with his jawline. It's like his jawline is partially unpainted or something, so it looks really weird. I think it looks even worse in the wing set, wingsuit version. He's doing almost like the Zoolander expression. It doesn't look natural. 
No thanks. We got some new stuff here. Looks like they just put out the Sword in the Stone Pops. You got Arthur, Madame Mem, and Merlin with Archimedes, clearly the best one. And then you've also got the new TLC Pops. You got T-Boz, Left Eye, and Chili. And I gotta say, I think those Pops are crazy, sexy, cool. Let's see what else. I don't think I've seen this Mits Misfits figure before. Got Shady Acres Ace Ventura, which is older, but a little harder to find. Got Black Cat from the Spider-Man animated series, as well as the Target exclusive Madam Web. And, uh, oh. We've got Swim Trunks Batman, Swim Trunks Joker. Is there a Riddler? There is not. Uh, these new Flash Gordon figures. You got Ming, Flash Gordon. That seems to be it. Those are huge. All sorts of new alien stuff, it looks like. Got the Target exclusive art series Splinter, as well as some of the art series uh, Infinity Stone or Saga figures. I think those look neat, but I have absolutely no use for them. Let's see, we got Chucky and Tiffany. We've also got Buddy Ash and Captain Blake. That seems to be the new stuff that I'm seeing here. Well, I found some things. I didn't find everything that I was looking for. Obviously, I didn't find the Knuckles uh, Funko Pop, but I had a great DC weekend. Uh, much to my surprise, I, I'm not looking for a ton of DC stuff, but I do like the Spin Masters figures, and uh, I found two of those. One I didn't anticipate finding, and the other one I had hoped I would. So let's uh, just recount the haul here. So first and foremost, I got the Target exclusive repaint of Killer Moth, and I just, I like the way this figure looks a lot more than uh, the original. The original was just sort of like a, a dull gray color, but as you can see, this one's got uh, a, a really nice shine to him, and uh, it's Target exclusive, and, and they've been out for a while, and I kind of gave up hopes on ever finding one, but lo and behold, it was laying on the floor when I walked through the toy section, so got that. Um, and then I also got the brand new Penguin figure from the new Batman uh, film, The Batman. And as you can see, they have given up on the whole mystery accessories thing. They just flat out show you what it is. So Penguin's got a briefcase, a gun, and an umbrella. I mean, three very fitting 
uh, accessories for him. I'm wondering if this one is as crappy as the other Spin Masters in terms of holding stuff. Uh, it almost looks like the pink, uh, the umbrella won't fit into his hands because his hands are kind of small and the the stem of the umbrella is rather thick. Uh, but you can see, like, this is how they used to do it. They would tell you three surprises inside, and then they would all they would be here. And uh, early on in the series, there could be variations on the surprises and it would be you know like make certain accessories more rare and, and things of that nature uh, but now they're just laying it all out for us they're just showing us what he comes with uh, but the new gimmick is that it comes with a mystery card and I have no idea what that's all about nor do I really care uh, I just wanted this because Spin Master's never done a penguin figure and this one you know, I, mean, I think it looks pretty cool um, I, I would prefer more of a proper animated series style penguin or or even like a Batman Returns style penguin but I I will take what I can get now we know they at least have the mold to uh, do uh, bigger characters one thing that I heard about these though and this is something that just word to the wise apparently they are taller than your average spin master so they fit closer in scale I guess to maybe from what I heard maybe uh, the old superpowers figures than they do the previous Spin Masters figures, which makes little to no sense because now you can't have the Robert Pattinson Batman next to like a Batman from a previous wave because he's going to be just a little bit taller. And I guess maybe they did it for the sake of accuracy or whatever, but it just seems weird to me changing the scale like that. You can even see a little bit like Penguin is, is bigger than this old killer moth, not by much. And I think for Penguin it actually works because it makes him just more imposing and like, you know, a larger size bad guy, kind of like um, the Kingpin, uh, if you will. And then last but not least on this trip, I picked up the new McFarlane Riddler figure. Now, the Riddler has always been one of my favorite Batman characters, and I love Frank Gorshin's portrayal, even though it's it's not great. <laughs> um, but it's iconic, and uh, and I, I just when I found out that this was a part of the second wave of these things, I had to go get it. Also, in this wave is a swimsuit Joker and a swimsuit Batman, which I'm really tired of that gimmick. And uh, in the first wave is Batman, Robin, and Joker, and I think each one of them has a chase. Uh, but I do not believe that any of these in wave two have chases. So that's that. I love this McFarlane line because the price point is really solid and the figures do look really good. So that uh, that pretty much wraps up this, this haul of uh, DC figures. Uh, I'm a little bit sad that I didn't get to see what, you know, like the first of the year end caps look like. Everything was still sort of left over from the holiday, but I know everywhere is short staffed and it's hard to find uh, just people. It's, it's hard to find people to, 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 to do the job and to make the change over and, and uh, you know, that not even to mention the supply issues that we're facing, which, you know, maybe the shipper boxes haven't arrived with the new set. So it's, it's just, you know, I may have rushed it a little bit, even though I thought I was being generous by giving it, you know, basically two weeks in January to, uh, to get, you know, set up. But, uh, We'll see in February. From what I understand, uh, the February the wow. From what I understand, the Funko Pop of Knuckles will be available in February. And as you can see, I have a space for him right here. Currently, I have just this weird little Knuckles on a four wheeler uh, place holding until I can get my Knuckles to round out my Sonic the Hedgehog uh, Funko Pop collection. So. That's going to conclude this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, do you have any of these figures? Do you like them? Leave some comments. Talk to me. It'd be nice to hear from you. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're into this sort of thing. So thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you again real soon. Uh, and don't forget. I almost forgot my sign off. Don't forget to stay nostalgic. Later, guys.